What's up, family? You're watching another episode of Gods and Goddesses Weather Report Tarot Readings. It's your girl, Jen Ether. We're going to finish up the water signs. We did Scorpio yesterday, so we're on Cancer right now. So let's get into the general energy. I'm not going to waste your time. Get into the general energy of Cancer. This is a general reading, so you're going to have to take the messages as they resonate. All of the messages will not resonate. So take the ones that do and leave the ones behind that don't. Also, as you're listening to the reading, if you like the messages or if you feel like they resonate, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And uh, if you want to get in touch with me for personal readings, all of that information is down in the description box. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to pull from this deck and see what your overall energy is, Cancer. You guys could be communicating a lot. Y'all hear that dog barking. Y'all could be having a lot of communication going on with friends, companions. What's going on for cancer? Give me some messages for cancer, please. Adjacent possibilities. That could be what the uh, communication is about. About you guys having uh, a lot of different options in life. This could be career. This could be love. You know, take it as it resonates. Uh, hostilities. You could be having hostile communication. This dog sounded a little hostile, to be quite honest. But these hostile communications could also be leading you to your adjacent possibilities, Cancer. So let's see what else. What else is coming out for cancer? Important messages for cancer, please. Yeah, we got contract. Contract. But I've also been seeing this as the judgment card, too, because it has the scales. So I feel like you guys are uh, either ending a contract, starting a new contract, do doing something that has to deal with contracts, starting a new job, signing a lease. This could even be a, a contract with a soulmate that you're either entering into or leaving out of. Magician and the Mirror came out. Magician and the Mirror. So that's always my alchemist card. When you see that fire and that uh, looks like ice mixing the different elements and uh, making something brand new out of them. So you guys are really uh, mastering the art of... Alchemy. Even if you're not aware of it, that's what you're doing. So you could be taking these hostile, uh, these hostilities are uh, very funny because I was just kind of in a hostile environment at my job. And it was, it literally led me to an adjacent possibility. You know what I mean? A good one, too. It was better than the last place I was at. So... Could be something like that. And we got man holding the heart in the middle for your overall energy right now with the oracle cards. So you're feeling heartfelt. <clears throat> the number nine. It looks like you could be entering up. I mean ending, ending, wrapping up a cycle with the number nine coming out. Because the next number is ten, which is the number one in numerology, which would be the beginning of a new cycle. So you guys, a lot of you guys could be at the very last leg of uh, of an old cycle. Number nine, it could be wrapped up in uh, in August, but I'm not sure. Possibly though, either August or September. But anyway, things are starting to come to a close for you, I believe. You're starting to see a lot of change, a lot of movement, and that's why you're getting these adjacent possibilities and these, uh, the contract card. And also, it's why you're being forced to be the alchemist. I think this thing is kind of coming on you. Like, I don't feel like you guys have been studying alchemy. I feel like this is naturally taking its course because you're naturally moving into a new cycle. So this is what just naturally is going to happen as long as you're not fighting it but it looks like 
you guys are not fighting it, but there are some hostilities around you being this alchemist because we got the hostilities card right over the alchemist card. So clarify the hostilities, please. Clarify the hostilities, please. Lip gloss. Ah, Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so clarify this hostilities card for me, please. Hostilities card. We got temperance. So it's like you guys are trying to find balance within a hostile environment I'm, I'm getting. That's what I heard. Hostile environment. Trying to find temperance inside of a hostile environment. Like I said, I was in a similar situation yesterday. So, now I don't know how long your environment. Mine was something that I could easily walk out of. Wasn't bound to it. So, yeah, you guys are trying to find this temperance. And really... The Magician card came out, so another alchemy card. Really trying to, like, pull some strings and make some shit happen. You're trying to make... I don't want to say the impossible happen. I don't feel like it's the impossible. I feel maybe for you it may feel like it's the impossible happen. But it's not impossible because you have all the tools as the Magician. Uh, your, this balance also has a lot to do with money. So a lot of you guys are really balancing out your coin, balancing out... Where you're putting your money, making sure that you're uh, saving more that you're, than you're spending. And you're also using your intuition to do all of this. So you're really tapping in and trying to listen to your uh, inner self and really go based upon how you're feeling about things emotionally to make your moves. So yeah, you, you guys are, uh, are pretty much tapping in to your higher self to really do a lot of these things and that I believe also is what's making these adjacent possibilities pop up not that these so, so the thing is these adjacent possibilities not that they're popping up they were already there but now that you're tapping into your uh, your higher self you're now seeing them now the veil's being lifted so you can just see them clearly now alright so Let's see what else is going on with you, Cancer. Swords popped out real quick during the shuffle. So you guys could be speaking your truth about something. Uh, sending out messages or co just communication, but truthful and honest communication. This could also be about, uh, like I said, sending out uh, applications too. You know, if you guys are looking for something different. As far as your place of employment. <clears throat> Give me five cards for cancer. Five cards. So we'll see what the tarot deck tells us. Give us a nice story for the tarot deck. Give me four more cards, please, for cancer. Two more cards, please. way too many cards. Just two. Not too many. Thank you. Just two more. Two more cards, please. Woo! There we go. Two more cards. Alright. Hmm. 
So I see, it looks like in the past you guys were working, working on your pinnacle, but there could have been a situation where you guys were uh, maybe sharing with someone that didn't necessarily deserve to be shared with, or someone was taking from you. Now, like I said, this could be a job situation, so some of you guys may not have been getting paid like you should have been getting paid. And you were not aware of it. You were getting, like, shortchanged. Also, it just looks like in the past you you uh, had someone that was doing something behind your back while you were not fucking watching. While you were doing your thing, trying to get emotionally fulfilled, it looks like. Because this person who's not watching in the background, they have their cup raised to the sky. Like, please fill my cup. Cups are about emotions because they hold the water. To hold it up in the air is a little backwards when you could have just went right to the ocean and got the water. You feel me? So, you you were kind of, I don't know if you were thinking too straight. And po possibly because you weren't thinking as straight as pos as you could be, this is why you were uh, <clears throat> being taken advantage of. Now, this could also be about people lying to you and you not being aware of lies being told because the sores also... Or uh, talking about communication or manipulation with thoughts, because the swords represent thoughts as well. So uh, this had in the now we're talking about the near future. This has uh, left you feeling confused about you giving an offer or sharing with this person. Now this is showing up as the Ten of Cups. Which is a relationship, something stable. The Ten of Cups is like emotional fulfillment. So you're being, you're feeling confused about what emotionally fulfills you. And it could be dealing in this relationship. Like, I'm confused if I really want to do this because of what has happened in the past. So, now let's continue. A lot of the signs are getting uh, similar, similar, similar readings. Which is uh, not really uncommon because the way the energies are <clears throat> with the pandemic, people being uh, forced in their houses, and just the way uh, astrology works and with our signs and our charts, we all have every sign within our chart. So we all have the tendencies of all of these signs anyway. And then if your sun sign, that's the sign that you're trying to achieve to be. So your sun sign is what you're trying to be. And what you will grow into be by the time the end of your life is. <clears throat> so that is like the main sign that you're growing into as you're growing and maturing. But you're, a lot of us are sun signs. If you're a sun, Taurus, and you're dealing with a, uh, a sun, I don't know, cancer. You're dealing with a sun cancer. And that cancer is has a, a, a girlfriend like you know that they deal with on the side and they're a, a son Sagittarius and their ex is a son Virgo you feel me like if they all end up intertwining and then depending on what the moon sign is and if there's cuffs involved it's, it's just crazy so that's why a lot of times the energies can be similar but like I said really with this virus and us having to stay in and the quarantine is really giving people time to think, investigate, discover shit. There's a lot of shit that wasn't able to be done when we were running around working and, you know, doing the day-to-day, -day, the regular day-to-day -day routines. <clears throat> okay, so let's clarify this Five of Swords. Five of Swords, Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. I gotta give it to you or him? Him. Oh, I'm about to do it now. Five of Swords. Oh, five. Okay, so the Five of Swords is showing that... Hmm. Hold up, let me get more cards. I feel like it's showing that you're actually healing. Yeah, it's showing that you're healing from this discovery. 
in the past you started healing. You found this out and you had to start healing from what you found out and really take it all in, I believe. I think at first you were kind of like wishing that it wasn't true, wishing that this wasn't happening. But eventually you kind of took it for what it was and really got into this Five of Cups energy of disappointment. But remember, these two cups are always right here showing you that there is something positive awaiting you, but you cannot see it. It's right in front of your face. <clears throat> so, again, this is you being uh, covering up your eyes, not seeing everything. And you see these dark clouds, so really only seeing the darkness that surrounds you. I remember before you were back here trying to get some water from the sky. Now you're covering up your eyes and these clouds are forming, but that water where I said it was a bit ridiculous before isn't necessarily as so ridiculous because it's actually about to rain and you will be able to get your water from the skies. But you're not, I don't think you're even aware that's going on. Unless it's thundering and lightning, but I don't see no lightning. And where there's lightning, there's thunder, so I don't think so. It could just be getting cloudy, just the clouds are forming. And you're feeling cloudy in general. Also, please do. What? Lighter, please. Thank you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yep, so also, two of swords. Yeah, so it, it looks like after this you really started valuing or looking at what you value. You started holding things to the light. This situation, and I feel like every situation, and damn near every situation to come you will be holding it to some type of light. It may not be under a microscope as much as it is right now or as much as it was when you first got these discoveries. I feel like you was really honing in on shit. Like, what the... Yeah, I mean, you was honing in on shit like that. But I feel like as time goes on, it won't be so microscopic, but it will still be, you're not going to be with things getting past you. You're going to want to make sure you're uh, well aware of everything that's going on. So, also, this taught you to be in your emotions, like be aware of your emotions, but not to get caught up in them. So, see how this king is in the water, in their emotions, like they're, they're on the water. They're not in it, they're on the water. And they have that platform that's keeping them, you know, floating, keeping them alive. So you can't fall so deep that you can't see things for what they truly are or see what's going on. So I think that's what you truly learned from this is to be aware of your emotions because your emotions can actually be signs and uh, basically signs of your intuition flashing and giving you different downloads. So you're now learning to tap into your emotions instead of being just led by them. So now this Seven of Cups, clarify this for Cancer. Okay, now there's someone else, Some another energy is popping up, the page. This could be you. The only reason why I'm saying this could be you is because this situation could have humbled you because the page isn't anyone bad, you know? This is someone who is really humble. It's a hard worker, though. So this could be you. This situation has left you confused. But through the confusion, it looks like you just decided to move the fuck on. 
<clears throat> because we got the world card and we got this six of swords card, which is my retreat card. You see, they're moving on. So, and as you're moving on, you're trouble bad. You're not fucking happy about this. This is, uh, you're still having heavy thoughts about this. So that's why we got the, the, the humble man that popped out because you had to kind of set your pride aside. And even though you didn't, I feel like you're still confused. That's why you still have these heavy thoughts. You, you don't have all the answers. That's what this is about. Whatever happened, you never got all the answers. You never received the truth about it. So because of that, it, it really didn't allow you to have closure. But instead of you staying, you knew you had to just fucking move on. So you had to kind of humble yourself and say, fuck it. I can't get all the answers. I'll, I just got to fucking move on. And, and, you know, move on with my life and start a new world. And you're, you're not happy about it, but you're doing what you feel is best. <clears throat> so now let's see what's next. What's coming in next for you, Cancer? So next, you will be uh, abundant. You could have a, this could be someone else because you were showing up as the king of cups. So now we got a queen of cups on the board for what's coming up next. Someone who is very abundant. They got their money. They're listening to their uh, spiritual team. So what's going on with this queen of cups? Give me something for the queen of cups, please. Who is this? This queen of cups. Is someone who is traveling towards someone who has been left out in the cold, which seems to be like it's you. So this could be your person who left you out in the cold, or this could be someone else who is aware. I feel like it's someone else who may be aware that you're left out in the cold because they're coming in to bring justice or judgment. This could also be you transforming from the King of Cups energy more so into the Queen of Cups energy. And that's what gave you the intuition because your intuition is more operating from your feminine side. That's the feminine energy, your intuition, the spiritual shit. And so you could just be in that energy. So in your future, coming up next, you're going to be in that energy to really make a judgment call about this. Or this is a, a counterpart that's coming in. And they're going to bring judgment and justice into your life. And they're a very intuitive person. Give me more, give me more. Please. For this Queen of Cups, is that who it was? Yep, Queen of Cups. Give me more on the Queen of Cups. Okay, so now we got a Queen of Stairs that pops out. And a King of Coins. There's a lot of people in this. How many people are involved, y'all? Uh, we got the Queen of Stairs that pops out, and they're, like, in Hermit mode. Clarify the Queen of Stairs. Nope, too many. Give me something for the Queen of Stairs, please. The fuck? This is a lot of people. A Queen of Wands, a Queen of Cups, a King of Cups, and then a King of Motherfucking Coins popped out. And, uh, and then a Queen of Coins pops out. What the fuck? So the Queen of Coins is actually falling right beside the King of Coins. So... For one, let me say, I'm going to stick to what I said the first time with this King and Queen of Cups. I feel like that's you. I feel like after you found out about all this deception and you had to humble yourself, you ended up in a King of Cups energy, which is really stable, but you're not willing to give up love. You're not willing to be the fool, but you are emotionally mature at this point, but you're emotionally mature enough to not put up with bullshit. So, 
But remember, you were still upset and still hurt, troubled about what went on. Because you still had that that uh, Nine of Swords energy. And you still had... There was another energy that was sad. I think it was the uh, Five of Coins. But you were still upset and troubled about what... Oh, confusion. That Seven of Cups energy. Which was the, the main thing I was clarifying. So you were still confused. But you did have the strength to move on and be emotionally mature and learn from your lessons. But then I feel like when you had to bring in the hammer and bring in that, that uh, karmic justice and really cut this off or, you know, make whatever call you needed to make, that's when you transformed into your Queen of Cups energy. Which left this Queen of Wands person feeling very upset, very troubled, very upset, not knowing what was going on or being troubled and upset because they knew you were going to move into this partnership and transform again from the now Queen of Cups who brought in the justice to the King of Coins who's just sitting pretty right next to his Queen of Coins who's in her chill mode. Yeah, you know I mean? She's relaxing too. She ain't doing shit. She good. Mm. You feel me? She... What's up, baby? You feel me? So yeah, so this person's troubled because they know you've you decided to find to go after or love has found you, but someone who is equal. They both got the same fucking coin. This person don't got one one more coin than this person. This person don't got one more coin than this person. They both got the same amount of coins. So and they have abundance also with these bunny rabbits. So we know what it is, and also this was divinely got it, because we see that they were led by spirit with this eye of raw being there. So that's what the other person, if you guys are dealing with a third person, there could be a other other person as well. But I believe there's one or two other people that are upset by you two coming together. Now, this could be happening in the future because this is what's coming next. Some of you guys, it already happened. For, for some of you guys, this is what's coming next. You know what I mean? The chariot ride. The queen and cups. I mean... The queen and king of coins riding off in their chariot. So, that's what I got for you. Let's pull three romance oracle cards from the romance oracle deck. And then we'll be on our way. Give me something for cancer, please. Please, please, give me something for cancer. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So queen or king of coin, make the romantic gesture to your queen or king of coin. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is going along with make the gesture. Why? Because your feelings are real and worth exploring. This is going to upset people. And this may be why you're holding back. But the feelings are real and worth exploring. So it's worth saying, fuck whoever don't really like it. This is worth me exploring. This could be your parents against it. This could be something where it's uh, same sex. That's what I heard instantly. Also, uh, what I was trying to think of is uh, interracial. Also, so this could be something that's taboo. Let's just say it's something that's taboo, but the feelings are real. And it's saying, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings. So this is honestly discuss your fears. Honestly discuss everything that you need to discuss to make this uh, open and honest. You know, be truthful about the situation. Whatever the situation is, because it's new. But it seems like you do know this person because it's telling you the feelings are real. Go openly express yourself. So it's like you've been holding back. So whatever you've been holding back, I'm going to take it as you need to express. Alright, so that was your reading, Cancer. I thank you for tuning in to another episode of Gods and Goddesses Weather Report Tarot Readings. If you like the messages and they resonated and would like to hit me up for a personal reading, all of the information is down in, in the description box. Also, what else? All the information is down in the description box.
Oh, also, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Love y'all. I appreciate you for watching. And I mean, I'll be back with the last water sign, and then we'll be moving back to fire and go back to the gauntlet again.